Hey Bobcat Nation, do you want to know what it's like to be a political science major in college? Follow me as I show you my day in this Quinnipiac Day in the Life. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Baldwin. I am a senior political science major from Falls Village, Connecticut. I decided to choose political science as my major because I was going through my senior year of high school during the last presidential election and I got really, really interested in it, especially with the debate over healthcare. I want to go into healthcare lobbying. So today's schedule, I have my College of Arts and Sciences capstone and my journalism class on covering voters and elections, and then we're gonna go to pep band rehearsal tonight. I live in the Eastview Residence Hall, which you can see behind me, which is the only residence hall on campus for seniors, which means I'm fortunate enough to be able to take the shuttle to campus instead of having to drive. So the class I'm headed to now is the College of Arts and Sciences capstone. The way that the CAS capstones work are you get to choose which section you want, so I chose more on religion and social justice. Everyone in the College of Arts and Sciences, which includes political science, has to take this um, at some point in their senior or junior year. We are completing projects for the end of the year that are basically independent research, and I'm doing mine on the separation of church and state and whether the United States has actually adhered to that or not. I have a break now until 2 o'clock, but I have a couple of errands to run and I need to get lunch. And I'm probably going to go to the honors lounge and do some work until I have to go to class. So it's about quarter of two. I'm going to head into this building behind me for my journalism class on covering voters and elections. Today is March 3rd, so it's Super Tuesday, so we're going to have a lot of work to do, um, collecting information about the different primaries happening today, collecting information about the different candidates that are still in the running, and building our uh, class project, which is a website and some social media. For the covering voters and elections, like why was that such an important class for you to want to teach? I've been at Quinnipiac for six years now and I've gotten the sense that a lot of students are curious about elections and curious about politics but don't really know that much about it. I mean this is kind of a class where we're doing live journalism and so it's a little bit fun, it's a little experimental, it's a little bit crazy. Um, we came into the class kind of reading a bunch of stories about how the press normally covers elections and some of the problems with that. So we're building an ambitious site and social media to kind of create a voter guide for our students um, and first time voters in the area and I'm really pumped about it. It's going to be great. Awesome. It's yeah. been a great class so far so it's really exciting. I have a little time now between class and when my friend gets here so that we can go to dinner. So I'm just hanging out in my room. You can see Catherine, my roommate, in the background, and Gracie, my emotional support animal, right here next to me. Uh, we live on the very top floor of Eastview. We have a nice little room, plenty of room, two beds, two wardrobes, and two desks, and it works fantastic for us. Gracie is just about a month and a half shy of being a year old, and I've had her since she was a kitten born in the barn on my property at home. Uh, she's an emotional support animal and helps me a lot with my anxiety and PTSD. So I'm here with my friend Michelle. We came to get dinner at the Rocky Top Student Center. Um, we both got pasta bakes. Just finished dinner, so now I'm heading down to the People's United Center for a pep band rehearsal. Tonight's rehearsal is going to be preparing for the MAC Basketball Championship that is next week. Um, the band and the sideline cheer team both go to support both of our basketball teams. Um, so cheer will actually be here to practice with us later. Okay, so I just got out of rehearsal here at the People's United Center. I'm gonna run up to Rocky Top super quick and grab some groceries. So the cafe at Rocky Top has a cool little section in the back that has like some grocery stuff. I usually come here to get bread, milk, eggs, cheese, that sort of thing. So we're gonna run and grab those things super quickly and then I'm headed home. So I'm back in Eastview, my day is over. And I hope that this gave you a good perspective on what it's like to be a student at Quinnipiac and the way that you can balance very involved majors with very involved organizations and still be a successful student. Be sure to check out the other Quinnipiac Day in a Life videos to see Quinnipiac all for yourself. Go Bobcats!